Hello there, and welcome to uh, behind the scenes of the making of Siren Head. So take a look at my computer. This is taking me a literal month, a, a literal month to uh, write this entire script down. This guy was actually made by Trevor Henderson, a great guy on uh, Twitter, makes crazy creepy uh, things, but specializes in, uh, or at least I think he specializes in that. I do believe so. He made the character, so huge thanks to him. I take no credit for creating this character. I think it's really cool and people have really fun ideas with him. I just thought I might put my own um, idea behind the uh, the character so you guys can get an understanding of him. Yeah, so I had every other scene I wanted to create in my mind. I've wanted to... Well, I haven't really wanted to. Basically, the idea of making a Severed Head film was actually brought to me by... Or not brought to me, but um, it was an idea by uh, Jack Septicai, who said that he liked... Uh, if anyone were to create a film that had Siren Head in it, that he would like it. Of course, he also involved having to do um, sound engineering, which I do not take a profession in, although I might learn eventually in the, in the future. I might learn about it, but uh, not really a guaranteed thing. Um, so, uh, yeah, that's been a, been a struggle, but I'm going to be doing my best. I'm going to be doing my best to hopefully it comes out the way I anticipated it, um, and hopefully it looks, looks, looks great. So uh, currently I'm in my garage, and you might be wondering why I'm in my garage. Well, because um, in one of my scenes, um, I have a, um, one of the main scenes I'm trying to create is where the child is, um, it was where this child is being lured into a forest, and then in the forest, that's where Siren Head leads this character. You don't see Siren Head yet, but you know he's there. And one of the scenes is where the camera slowly pans up to uh, his face, and then the, the creature grabs onto him. And kind of symbolizing that he then, um, you know, killed him. Trying to be child friendly, you know, it's not really a child friendly film. And yeah, point is, um, I'm trying to, in order to create that panning shot. Um, I'm going to be making a uh, camera dolly, which if you don't know, is essentially a uh, camera operating, uh, or a camera moving uh, thing. Basically you put your, uh, your a tripod on this, uh, this thing with wheels and it creates a smooth looking shot. Seamless uh, transitions I guess, but it's mainly create, to create smooth camera movement. And I'm going to be creating one. I've already taken apart these, um, I've already taken apart uh, wheels off the skateboard. Uh, skateboards were not harmed in making this. Actually, I like even skateboard parts. So, yeah, I'm also going to be thinking about using that. Um, that board for um, it is where I'm going to be putting the camera. And I'm going to be creating my own dolly. Uh, huge shout out to uh, Pony Smasher on YouTube. He's actually a director who, actually, if you don't know, Directed, Lights Out, Annabelle Creation, and Shazam, I do believe. Which uh, really tells you a lot about uh, how good this director is. I don't know if I'm going to be good at directing movies, but I can certainly try. Well, after uh, after all the work in progress is done, I managed to create my camera dolly. Which I honestly am very happy with the way it well, I mean, not really happy with the way it came out, but I'm happy that it works. It, it works well enough to, well, uh, fully say that it's a working camera dolly. Uh, I had to look for a couple of screws and bolts because apparently I didn't uh, have the right ones in, or I didn't have necessarily have everything I needed, but uh, yeah, if you want to make your own, just grab uh, four uh, corner brackets, uh, screws with fitting nuts, screws in general, uh, and if you, if you can, if you have any like uh, skateboards that you're not using to run, like say a penny board or a plain old skateboard, just use those wheels. Or I guess you can go to a, a skateboard shop and use those. That's what I got from his, uh, or from, uh, yeah, from his video. Um, Pony Smasher. Uh, so, yeah, it works out fine, and I'm gonna be using. Uh, these holes to uh, roll against. So, uh, yeah, really happy with the way it came out.
All right. All right, so. Uh, okay. Yeah, so. This and three, two, one. Crack. Alright. Okay, try again, try again. <laughs> this time it's gonna be it. This time it's gonna be it. Also, I kinda forgot. <laughs> okay, yeah, that was on me. That was on me. That was on me. So our coin is the three, two, one. Crack. Okay, good. Okay, that was not good at all. How do you feel? Fresh, fresh passing. No fresh passing. Did you know that? So I just got cloudy, which is going to be great good lighting. Oh, I thought you were talking to me. Oh, this is behind the scenes. Oh, what's that though? Got it? Okay, you sure you have it? Uh huh. Alright. All right. One. I can see you smiling. <laughs> Come on! And I'll pay it for Jack. <laughs> okay. Alright. Take two. Alright. Three, two, one. <laughs> Perfect timing. <laughs> I, I caught that on camera too. <laughs> oh yeah, good. Good. Okay, okay. First victim of time. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Take 10. All right, yeah, take, take three. All right, what do you think about uh, my directing skills so far? Um, 10 out of 10. It's great, but the thunder doesn't agree, so. Yeah, th th yeah thunder hates me now. Wait, why do you need the board? There's a board Ant on your board. Save scene. Like I say, crack. You react. Okay, Dad. Do I have to go over? Like, yeah, you're supposed to act con like, con yeah. Got it? Yeah. Right, three, two, one, go. Ow. Crack. No! Just stare there! Okay.